Hello and welcome back to Desktop Dungeons. We're gonna be doing uh what is this? What is this? Venture Cave. Uh one of the realm's favorite mercenary attractions. Um so apparently this is good with Thief or Fighter. We could try something else. We'll try the halfling, probably. Could try a priest again. I I've done a lot of wizard stuff. I was going looking through some of my playthroughs, but uh, I don't know. We could try with wizard. Halflings get a health potion for every 80 conversion point. Ah, uh, do we want to do another priest run though? Priest run, good though. Let's do priest run. And um, I don't know. Shield. A handy self-defense tool, which also happens to smack other things around. 25% knockback damage. So if we if we get the piss orf again, I think that would be probably be pretty good. But I don't know. I like the perseverance badge. It's good. We do it. We do another priest run. Just just one more priest run, you know, as a treat. Uh oh, and we got Endus Wall right away. Nice. Uh, we can kill some. Oh, that's a serpent. I don't want my first kill to be a serpent. Ooh. Okay, we've got biceps. Biceps good. I like biceps. Biceps good. Um, I think we can kill this guy maybe. Uh, if we can't, then I'll use a health potion. Yeah. Heck yeah, bud. So that gave us the cheeky badge. Love the cheeky badge. Um, we can kill that goblo. Goblo. Goblo gave us level up. Um, we got a level three over here. Oh no, I'm a serpent. No, get out of here. I don't like you. Um, I really don't want to fight a serpent at, at any level. I get uh, the fact that I'm considering this. So the goblin will kill us oh, like straight up. Um, if we killed, we need 10 levels, or sorry, 10 XP. So even if I killed the serpent, we're going we're gonna to get poisoned for nothing, basically. No, I don't want to do it. We've got a level one over here. I don't want to, okay, we got a level two. I'll, I'll kill a level two goblin. If we're at, um, like that'll give us... 5 XP. So if I'm at, if I'm desperate and I need 5 XP, I, and obviously if we level up, then we'll get rid of poisoned. Then that'll be better. Oh, okay. We've got Earth Mother again. Not a huge fan of Earth Mother. I mean, they're fine. I just don't find them to be particularly interesting. So I really don't like how much of the map we're uncovering right now without any, like, we're not advancing at all right now. We've got enough level ones that we could level up, but I, I really don't want to level up on level ones. We got getting dare. Okay, getting dare plus biceps changes things somewhat. Um, not against the goblin, but maybe against this. No, not not again. Not at all against the meat man. Uh, I'm I'm having a kind of a rough time with this. We are um we are a halfling, so we do we don't have to worry so much about xp or no sorry not xp uh potions so um hmm just thinking like how many times would we have to fight that or punch that meat man too many i think because i'm thinking we could like bulk up we could probably do it in seven strikes but we can only take two hits from them it's just not good, you know? It's just not good. We actually have a better chance against... No, never mind. We don't have a better chance against the uh, zombie. It's just not good. All right, what about this level six? That is a level six serpent, and they will kill us immediately. Finally, a level four. Okay, uh, we might be able to do a level four. They're going to kill us in two hits, so actually no. Again, we actually stand a better chance against the zombie. Well, no, we don't actually. Not sure why I think that. There's our boss. Look how much of the map we've uncovered. 
and we just like have gotten supremely unlucky with some of this uh if i could get the zombie down to three it might be worth taking on yeah we can get them down to three so what i could do is punch them once potion um punch them again and then get in there to get the last strike in and that means we just fought something like was that guy three levels higher than us it felt it felt pretty good um we can kill this goblin they're one level above us pretty good so our, this is our first I, I feel like their first like boss meat man. Okay, fine. I'm totally a ripoff character, but I have permission to be here. Honest regards super meat man You um, I, I mentioned this before but uh, meat man used to be super meat boy. They were directly super meat boy and uh, and in in uh, this at least in this version they are a bit more original looking than uh their original selves i think we can kill this goblin but i might be wrong we're gonna give it a go i could use another potion to get this done i don't like that i did that but hey we killed a, another like two levels above us goblin i think it's worth using a potion for two levels above us if i had um you're a wall or whatever the the thing that you know the the, the spell that turns creatures into walls then that would be ideal we got some level fours level four meat men not not great honestly not oh uh, you know what i could have used get and getting deer for that last hit all right we're kidding we're fighting zombies it's all good um not really a huge fan of how this dungeon is going can we kill this serpent yes i think so and i'm pretty sure yeah we, we can totally oh i didn't mean to do that i didn't mean to do that god the, the misclicks in this game are so bad like i i meant to click the spell not not the serpent right like was it was it obvious that I was trying to do that? There's no undo button. There's a rewind, but there's no undo button. Ugh. All right, fine. I don't even know where I am anymore. I'm level two now. Um. I'm pretty sure I was trying to kill this. I, I killed this uh, zombie. Yeah. Let's let's just do that again. So potion. Uh, attack and then get in there to get the last shot there's our um we, we meet again for the first time that was a, a funny joke um we can kill this goblin and i'm pretty sure that levels up us up probably not um is a level five around Do, did i manage to kill this meat man if I kill this meat man, it will level us, level us up. I guess it'd be better to attack a level four when it's uh, above us than um, a level five in some ways. Let's say the shortcut key for this G. We may as well learn what that is. Okay, so we leveled up off that. We're a level four. We can kill the goblin um, pretty pretty well. There's no reason to use um, get buff or whatever. There's no reason to use it because it won't actually buy us anything. It won't, you know, gain us anything to do that. Here's all of our level twos and threes and stuff. Lots of serpents on this in this dungeon. Let's check out the uh, underground. What is this? Provides immunity to death gaze. Legend of the signboard Gorgon. In these lands, rumors persist of a particularly odd Gorgon who turns adventures into helpful dungeon sideboards. <laughs> signboards instead of stone. Though this Gorgon has never been sighted, adventurers are advised to stay away from regions of densely clustered signposts, especially if they happen to contain any warnings about Gorgons. 
Well, I'd love to check out the rest of that underground, but um, for the time being, like that, that is all pretty helpful uh, unexplored tiles. So I'm going to fight this uh, meat man instead. Okay. Um, we can't kill the serpent. So let's not do that. We could probably do this serpent though. Yeah, I think we can. I think this is the one I died on. There we go. And that levels us up. And we don't even take the penalty on the poison. So we're level 5 now. Can we kill this serpent? I don't think so. I don't think uh, our buff, our damage bonus would do it. Let's, let's have a look. Um... I really don't think it's going to do it. Maybe if I also did end as well. But the thing is, is that this guy is not going to be enough to level us. So we're going to be stuck with the stupid poison. So I don't think that that's worth it. Um, did I buy that? I think I bought this. Let's go ahead and buy that again. Maybe that'll make the difference. Actually, it kind of does. So let's go ahead and do Endus Wall so that we gain a little bit of uh, extra health. That actually might make the difference. But hey, there's a zombie right here. I don't know why I'm even contemplating all of that when I can kill the zombie for not getting poisoned. Um, let me see. I don't have enough mana to do buff. Uh, what is this called? biceps and also getting there so that not not really worth it let's uh I, I think i can do this now though and then getting there and then that'll level us up so we don't have to deal with poison so we're level six now uh tons of monsters over here which are good there's another snake lots of snakes it just had to be snakes didn't it uh uh what's this level eight honestly not terrible uh i don't i guess getting there didn't do, really do anything for us mm. yeah that wasn't worth it it just uh cost us resources why don't we check out the sub dungeon for now lots of signposts around here there's actually nothing down here i was really expecting a gorgon but there's there isn't any how explicit how explicit so i have to imagine the gorgon's actually in the next dungeon the one after we defeat this one um can we fight that goblin i don't think so right Pretty sure I already did this. Yeah, I already have might. Ugh, this dungeon layout really sucks right now. Can we fight this zombie? Uh, we already have stone skin, so we've already got like all of our benefits right now. I guess I could do more endus wall. There's always that option, right? So I could do a bunch of endus wall, and that would buy us one more damage. Right? So now we can take one more hit. And if I could get enough for getting there, I'm pretty sure I can kill this level 9 zombie. Yeah. Quite wild. That was a... That's pretty crazy. We're level 6 and we just killed a level 9. Um, but that's that wasn't enough to level up off of. It was just cool. That's all, really. We could actually pick up this, um, let me see, and start using it. Um, let's see, we can no, no point in doing, um, Endus Wall because there's no way we're going to be able to generate enough, um, resistance to make the difference. But if we can kill them, yeah, perfect. And uh, we're, we're doing quite well, actually. Level 7. 
We have... Oh, well, I did want to kill this snake before I leveled, actually, because I really don't want to have to deal with the poison. Um... Okay, there's a level 7. Level 7's not bad. Wow, I think we just got a lucky dodge. I'm gonna go in here. Oh god, another snake. Can we kill it? Oh, if we could do like its entire health bar in damage, then it would actually be worth um, like doing a get in there. To uh, get, you know, we could kill it without taking any damage. Um, can we kill this goblin yet? Kind of, yes. Maybe no. Uh, let's tell you what. Let's do a get in there, or sorry, a end this wall, and generate a bit of resistance. And I think, yeah, now we now we should be able to do this. Okay, so I think uh, we are primed to kill the snake over here now. Yeah, that will be enough to kill us uh, to to level up. And if we do um, biceps and then get in there, we can kill it. So we've gotten rid of another snake. Always good to get rid of a snake uh, when you level up so that you don't have to deal with the poison. Um, where are we at? What are we doing? We're at level eight. We're getting pretty close. One more level. Level nine is like ex you know, where you want to be to to kill the boss. Let's do some let me sees. Well, there's a there's a god here. Oh, Torog. Kind of late in the game for Torog. Honestly, I'd like to do this without any gods because, you know, we're we're pretty much at that point. Let's go ahead and um, convert. Let me see. That's going to give us a health potion. We can kill this goblin first hit, so that's pretty good. Um, we can kill this snake without getting hit, so no poison. Um, yeah, we didn't get the, any bonus XP from like um, turn turning people in the in the walls. We didn't manage to get that. I honestly think at this point I may as well just like start cleaning up because I don't think I'm gonna get to level ten. So let's go ahead and just like start cleaning some stuff up. I'm gonna use getting there. Uh, whenever I fight a serpent, and I'm just going to be smacking some level 1s. We'll check out some of this other stuff occasionally. But I just want to be level um, 9 so that I can kill the boss. Nothing too fancy here. Do it get in there so we don't get the poison. Um, we could... You know what? Why don't we go ahead and... Uh, it's a meat man we're fighting, right? They're actually quite tough. I don't think that um, I don't think that Endis Wall is going to be particularly helpful for us. And actually, I know it's not because the the health potion that we're going to get from it is going to be better than whatever resistance we would have gotten from the Endis Wall, right? But we're just going to go around and kill some gobos, and we're one kill away from leveling up. And we have a snake over there, a uh, level one snake. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start hitting the boss. Then we'll kill the snake to level up. And continue smacking the boss. Oh, I didn't use my, my biceps. Big, big bummer. Um, so I'll use a health potion. Continue smacking. And I am actually a little bit worried. Okay, we're, we're fine. We got some snossage. And I'm going to go around and kill whatever I find just so we that it's only 15 gold. I understand it's only 15 gold, but we may as well get the 15 gold. Why not get the 15 gold? What are you kidding me? This is a, you know, we're, we're in a, 
you're, you're you're fiscally irresponsible if you don't get the 15 gold from cleaning up the dungeon, honestly. You have a fiduciary responsibility to get the 15 gold. Pretty sure I killed everything, but oh no, no, there's one more hiding in the corner there. Really don't like that. A lot of criticism has been added to uh, said to this game for its camera problems. Um, and yeah, I, I don't disagree, honestly, in some regard, but you know, it's still, it's still a good game. So I can't really be mad. Okay. Kill that level nine. We did not get close to leveling up, but that's fine. We weren't really trying to, I wasn't even trying, bro. Yo, bro. I wasn't even trying. If I get, you know, catch me when I'm trying and maybe I'll get to level 10. It's fine. We did do that, however, with the cheeky. Um, cheeky, what is a cheeky worth? Is it worth anything? We got this Gorg, Gorg Ward. Is cheeky worth anything? I think I already got cheeky in this dungeon, so maybe that's not worth anything. Um, okay, well, that was only 20 minutes on that dungeon. What's the money bin? Please, with their new vault. The bankers have celebrated by extending the kingdom uh, a new line of credit. A maxim our maximum gold allowance has increased considerably. Party time? 500 gold. Economic hit. The kingdom taxidermist approaches you wearing a slightly concerned look and a rather tasteful pair of shoes. Slay! Mm, kingdom administrator, do you have a moment? The figures on this these monster heads don't look quite right. There's been a sudden drop in stock values across the board. I can't fully explain it, but the evidence so far points to someone aside from us providing monster trophies to the market. Nothing confirmed yet, but the trend is concerning. Track it, please. You sold the meatloaf for 300 gold. Excellent. Um, we don't have enough to buy the goat person. That's fine. We don't really need the goat person. I couldn't, I, I wouldn't mind getting the rogue. Let's buy the rogue. Enemy unlocked Gorgon, dearest, fairest, and most noble kingdom administrator we have found. We have news from the newly renovated Discount Emporium. They've contracted a shady building company using Gorgons to supply what was described as unconventional building materials. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. While this is this is, in itself is understandable, the creature the creatures have now revolted and are fleeing to local dungeons. Weakened heroes will need to be wary of their death gaze, which can kill in an instant. Spooky. But we have rogues, so that's cool. That's fun. Uh, I don't think I have enough time for another dungeon, unfortunately. And I'd, uh, you know, I'd kind of like if I can do short videos that guarantees and I can get something up every day, um, which I can't necessarily if I do like hour long videos every time. So, you know, there's a it cuts both ways in some ways. Um, but uh, Den of Danger, we could do maybe a Den of Danger. You know what? Let's do. Oh, my God, that's priest again. Okay, fine. Priest halfling. Why not? Double, du a double helping. Let's do Den of Dangers. Um, priest halfling. A double helping of priest help. Uh, halfling. What is this? Bet on boss. The market value of this dungeon's boss trophy is increased by fifty percent. All gold piles in the main dungeon are plus one value. I see. So you could either bet for five gold. You can bet that the boss trophy will be more valuable. Or you can make your uh, playthrough of the dungeon a little bit easier on yourself by uh, increasing the value of the gold that you pick up. Interesting. Um, don't hate it. Let's uh, let's get Torog right away. Just like make things like super easy on myself. Torog is a good first god to get because um, you know we're we're going to be benefiting from kills like right away. We got our Endus Wall. Uh, that's great, actually, because I wouldn't mind checking out this level one dungeon. There's our Tor Torog. Let's go ahead and worship them. Uh, can we kill this goblin on the first as our first kill? I don't think so. No. Uh, no, for sure not. Well, maybe if I do so. Oh, only a fool would so boldly reject Torog's gifts. May your body become as frail as your spirit. Currently worshipping physical resistance. Okay, uh, that's the... You know what? Let's go ahead and convert Endus Wall right now just to please Torog slightly. That was, a, that was a pretty dumb move, if I say so myself. 
Am I actually frail? I can't tell. Maximum 65. Let's uh, let's just kill some level 1 things, maybe. We don't have to do anything too fancy. Wait, what? Cowardly. Why is this meat man cowardly? We have a warlock with... Uh, it, they looked strange for a moment. Okay, this is already uh, annoying. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, so we've already got enough for our Torog's blade. Let's go ahead and buy that. Um, uh, I guess we can do this. We could use one potion to get our, uh, get some bonus XP. Wait, did we just, did I, oh, I just like 100% wasted that potion. Wait, no, no, never mind. I didn't. Well, I, okay. Yes, I did. I didn't realize that I didn't take damage from that. There's a weird thing where like you have a, a, a chance to... Um, we did become frail. I have negative two, oh, 25% bonus from attacks. Good Lord. Yo, gods really, like, they're making me really regret taking gods pretty much every single time. I, 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 I do. Like, there's always uh, some nonsense every time. And I mean, most of the time it's like from misclicks or like stupid mistakes, but the gods are super punishing. I know that's the point, but uh, I'm not really saying this as a, as a compliment. All right. Health potion. Uh, let's kill this warlock. Oh, you know what? We're at the point where we can take the shield. Let's go ahead and take the shield. We're going to have to do this entire dungeon with negative... 25% bonus, I guess. It seems seems to be waning, although I think it's waning because I'm gaining things that are giving us uh, like damage. Negative 5 damage taken, plus 5 damage. I don't know. Maybe it's waning. Who knows? Kill. We leveled up. I'm not going to try and do anything too fancy here. Man, the cowardly monsters are really annoying. We gotta, like, corner them the other way around. Let's go ahead and convert the spurned arrays. Uh, we have enough for our helmet, so let's go ahead and take the helmet. We're at 7 out of 15 uh, experience. This, this guy's... Why is everyone cowardly? Did I miss uh, a meeting? There's our, our boss. Our boss is a Gorgon, which sucks. They have death gaze 100%. I'm actually not sure how I'm going to deal with that yet. Okay, let's um, attack this warlock from the other side. we go we're at level four what's this level five it's a snake don't care for that seriously don't care care for that uh we don't have enough for our next torog gift yet um oh what we oh we got mystera we could desecrate mystera sure you're not working for the greater good mystera offers protection to your foes is it magic re resistance it's it is both ma magical and physical resistance, but I think that that'll actually be fine. I really did make this entire dungeon uh, more difficult on myself, didn't I? So now we're going to be... Um, we can get Unstoppable Fury. I can't remember. I think that is just death protection. I don't think it's anything else. I might be able to kill this Gorgon. I'm not sure. The death gaze... Let's have a look at this death gaze. Petrifies attackers with less than 50% health. Oh, okay. So we can't, um, once we take this first hit or sorry, that second hit, then we have to make sure, well, I guess we'll have to use a potion. Oh my God. And they're cowardly. Ugh. okay. Let's, um, getting dare is actually really tempting. 
getting there is might be the only spell worth using because for against death gorgons it's just going to be like very very good for us we'll make it up to uh torog we'll convert this let me see okay we'll hit them again and then if i use getting there yeah that'll that'll kill them i i'm not sure there's always um a risk associated with doing the thing that the god doesn't like like even if you're pleasing them i'm pretty sure if you do it enough times they'll just like punish you anyway which really sucks <laughs> it's just like just come on <laughs> be be cool you know like i'm doing all of this extra stuff for you uh be, be cool about it okay we got a level seven and they have a, a monster on this other side so this is actually pretty good and we can use another get and dare to um finish them off cool and that leveled us up so we're at level five now uh don't know if we i don't think we can kill the the meat man we do have death protection that's not necessarily the end all be all but um you know something what is this what is that level nine Ooh, fine sword but we don't have enough room for it uh level six you know the level six zombie is actually good enough i don't know why i have to make everything super complicated on myself i am gonna use getting dare to uh finish it off what is this level nine level nine zombie could be worth it i actually have a, i have tons of potions and i am a halfling right so i can i can make more i just need to make sure that it's up against a wall before i start like hammering him uh yeah okay so they're up against the wall now uh let's just make sure that we're at full health so we can hit them twice uh might be worth using our death protection here oh i actually i think i already am using my death protection yeah he's doing 56 health so that second hit there is actually killing our death protection unfortunately um so i'd have to I, I, I hit them once health potion no this isn't worth it it's actually not worth it because we're using like everything to make it happen sometimes you can't you know fit a square peg in a round hole let's just kill this meat man we could maybe kill this other meat man I'm not sure what is this a warlock uh yeah we can't kill that warlock warlocks tend to be really tough We are since we're, our only spell is getting there. We we always have mana for that, so we could convert um, a couple of mana potions. We'll just convert all of our mana potions. Does that mean actually we have enough room? No, we don't have enough room. I was thinking maybe we could buy this sword over here as well. Um, we could kill Meat Man. <sighs> okay, now we can kill Meat Man. <laughs> Okay, one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna use my death. Per no, let's let's just use a health potion and then kill them. We'll level up. Solid. It, there's no reason to use that. Uh, this biceps is actually really tempting, but I don't have enough room at all. There's like no way. Thirty percent damage bonus uh is that better than getting there no getting there we're fighting a gorgon if i don't keep getting there it just like seems like a very very stupid move okay let's fight this meat man we'll we'll figure it out later and then um let's like not even take that last bit of damage uh yeah you know, there's nothing else we can get from torog we could start spending some of these points on uh unstoppable fury although it does increase in price every time so maybe i shouldn't rely on that as uh as a method Ooh, we got levels eights and nines over there can we do what can we do against this warlock we could hit them we can only take one hit from them unfortunately this is where uh biceps would be really good If we could take a second hit from them, that would be ideal. 
but we can't so um can we kill the zombie we can take two hits from the zombie so we could kill a level nine zombie but we can't kill a level eight warlock that's where we're at we leveled up off that very good level seven can we kill the warlock yet we can take two hits from the warlock now so that's actually viable so let's go ahead and do that kill um reveal some map recover a little bit we got a level five gorgon let's clean up some gorgons what do we got here level eight warlock problem here is, is they're gonna back up forever so i may as well just like smack them back up go and recover a little bit go fight them hit smack go recover all right now that they're up against the level eight um we can actually kill them smack smack get in there kill we got a gorgon all right gorgon would kill us right now i don't know if we can take on a level eight gorgon let's see um they don't hit particularly hard they actually are quite weak in many ways um we can take two hits from the gorgon and then kill them and that'll level us up so that's actually decent cool uh level nine zombie uh unfortunately like again if we could get the biceps this uh, perseverance badge is only worth one inventory space so it's really not worth converting for the first space but i mean we can kill the zombie it's not a really big deal this cowardly nonsense is really irking me i am i'm really not a fan i'm gonna go ahead and convert this biceps it's just like i know it's it's never gonna pay out i'm pretty sure i'm gonna run out of dungeon at this rate we are technically making ground oh you know what we can kill him there we go and we got a health potion for our trouble we can probably kill uh whoa what death gaze at 100 percent. how are we supposed to get through that what am i just like screwed i have no i have no and they and they have first strike um i can't take even a single hit from them petrifies attackers with less than 100 percent health and they're cowardly <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess I can't kill. I guess I can't win. I, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do against that, to be honest. I mean, I'll go around and attack some stuff. Maybe there's an anti-Gorgon thing hanging out around here that I can find. Well, we can level up from killing something Ugh. okay hold on all right let's kill this guy and now we have a level one snake here's the thing is even though yo that's actually nonsense wait did we use up our death protection i guess we did okay what did i waste my death protection on I, I need three death protections. <laughs> I don't have enough. If I hadn't wasted my death protection on, on something, I, I might have actually been able to do this. Because I would have been able to take three hits. Um, and then do get in there and kill them. What a, what a nonsense boss. Oh, we have a sub dungeon over here, which we almost didn't see. Oh, we have another gravestone mystery god again rumors abound of these nondescript altars showing up around the realm find as many as possible with your kingdom's adventures to unlock their full power the mystery god again truly a shame that there's no anti-gaze around here like anti uh medusa gaze um full health doesn't mean anything by the way like health does not mean a dang thing at all so 
unless I somehow find um, uh, I would need 90 so I need 20 I need 20 uh, worship in order to make this happen I don't think that's gonna happen I don't think that's gonna happen uh, I think we'll probably end up rewinding wait a minute what why am I now able to take one hit from them Okay, I'll take it. Uh, okay. Um, where's my mana? Oh, I have mana burn as well. Oh, this sucks so much. Okay, well, this is fine. What a stupid boss. I hate this. Good Lord. <laughs> uh, let's, okay, we're going to hit them again. Smack. Wait, why is it going to take four hits now? I thought it was. No, this is fine. I think this is fine. We, we smack them again. There goes our death protection. Now we go and buy more death protection. And then we smack them again. And then we go and buy this mana potion. Use it. Get in there. What do you mean? Oh, they have first strike as well. I hate that. Uh, officially stupid. Officially the stupidest boss ever. Wow. You gave him first strike as well? Like, do they have enough freaking abilities, dog? God damn. Hol holy crap. I, there's no way I was going to be able to do this. Unless I had basically all of the death protection. No, never mind. I. Uh, there's no way. There's just, There's absolutely no way. Can I, can I bot? No, like, again, I need like a, a ton of stuff to make this happen. <gasps> Wait, why is it working now? Is it because I have, is it like anything less than 100%? Okay. Oh, is that what it says? With less than 100%. Okay, so as long as I have 100% health, then they can't get death gaze. Okay, that was unclear to me. All right, well, we did it. My god, as you land the killing blow, a creature teleports nearby. Your ear, ears buzz and your eyes find it difficult to focus. There's a powerful glamour at work here. Who are you? H. Hello, adventurer. No, please, don't concern yourself with combat right now. I'm sure you fought long and hard for that monster trophy, and I'd hate to swoop in and take something undeserved. It's the lowest form of behavior, you know. I'd just like to mention that I've been keeping an eye on these lands for a while now, and I don't really care who or what you choose to fight, but I do have a certain disdain for unwelcome visitors. Please, when you return to your kingdom, kindly inform your superiors that H was informally told to sod off. I'm only asking once, toodles. Okay. Well, I almost got really frustrated with this game, but um, I'm good. I'm going to go ahead and kill the last two creatures just to make sure we get the... Uh, we, you know, that's why we're here, actually. We need to kill everything, right? Exit. Yep, we got unstoppable. That's all we really need. Continue. Quest complete. Beginner Brigade, 1000 XP, an infernal proposal. Hey there, you should know that Bezar uh, wants to strengthen its hold in this dimension. I guess it likes you guys for some reason. However, Bazaar is a business first and chaos entity second it needs to know uh, be sure that the current market is you know plump enough i'm sure that you'll think of an appropriate gesture what about a union you sold the gorgon head for 450 gold we did get quite a bit more gold for the gorgon head because i wagered on it uh, the bank allows you to keep a maximum of 4,000 gold in your kingdom and lets you, your adventurers take 20 gold and an insurance policy in the dungeon run. Okay, cool. Um, Bazaar, there's no, it doesn't seem like I can do anything there. Um, we could, well, we don't quite have enough to buy two more classes, but I don't necessarily want to or need to. Um, we still have a new class to play with in the next playthrough. Quest unlocked second generation. Some of the more veteran adventurers 
are starting to call our kingdom home, but now's not the time to let them rest on their laurels. More sinister creatures have started moving into nearby dungeons, and we need to call upon heroic expertise to hold them off. Defeat the den of danger with every second tier hero. Berserker, sorcerer, monk, and rogue. Quest unlocked. Dimensional dealings. Apparently, Bazar has the potential to spawn more shops per dungeon. It's wary of overextending itself for no profit, so we have to show it that we're serious buyers. Purchase every shop item in a dungeon run. Oh, wow. A difficult thing to do, actually. So we have to um, try and, and complete Den of Danger with every class. We could, I mean, start by, like, let's just go ahead and buy the Berserker. Class unlocked Berserker. These are your locker slots. You can store loot here for use in future runs at a nor nominal cost. Beware, if you destroy a locker item while in the dungeon, you'll be charged a reclaim fee before you can use it again. Interesting. Most Honored Kingdom Administrator, your recent expansion of the local Adventurers Guild, while successful, demolished a nearby graveyard to make room for the beer hall. Now the local dungeon authority uh, reports a growing population of angry wraiths tricking into outlying monster dens. They seem to be draining the magical power of adventurers in an attempt to annoy the living crap out of everyone. Booze unleashed angry spirits. Very good. So we have new abilities. We have new things. Uh, unlikely heroes. An ambitious band of elven warriors has taken it upon themselves to clear Venture Cave once and for all. They're an unconventional bunch, but perhaps their detriment, determination will offset their oddness. Defeat Venture Cave with all three warrior classes. This only counts if you use elves. Ocean's elves? Sorry, El Ocean's elven. Oh, God. Uh. 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 <laughs> We have to, so wait, we have to do Den of Danger. We're doing Den of Danger with, with two different things now, or was that something else? Venture Cave. We have to do Venture Clay, Cave with Unlikely War. Okay, so we have to do uh, Venture Cave with every type of fighter, um, as long as they're elf. Gotcha. Well, we have tons of quests to to accomplish now, and this turned into a longer episode than I uh, wanted. But, hey, we, we ticked two boxes at once. Um, if you're enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.